So, Shalom, first and foremost, all praise to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Chakwadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle and Elders, the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings out there to the hopeful elect, uh, ruling well. I mean, teach, aha, peace and blessings out there to the hopeful elect, uh, striving in his truth. And um, this video lesson is going to be about uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, because what you see before you is the collapse of a civilization. And it's the beginning of it, you know, the collapse of uh, these, uh, the global uh, economy, basically. And the cover up is this coronavirus, you know, but really, you know, the, the earth and the world is suffering. It suffered, it suffered, it suffered. It was just strip, strip, strip. And you can't strip and keep growing without, without, without rest because, you know, this devil, you know, the wicked and power, they don't let the land rest. They don't let the people rest. They don't let anything, you know, the animals rest. So everything is, is under rest. And they, we, you can't put, you know, you need your resources to put back into the economy. But it's not going to happen. That's why they're pulling back even more. You know, it backfired on them, so to speak. So I'm going to start off with a, uh, the brother. When we start off with Ecclesiastes 12, it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. There's going to come a time where Esau is going to, right, well, right now, um, Donald Trump is talking about reopening up America in a week or so. And um, um, right now, it's... Uh, but 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 it's only a matter of time till he uh, he puts the grips on this place again, and he and be and uh, and uh, Esau begins to squeeze, put basically put the squeeze on this place again, and uh and, and um uh, and, and still fear his people again. Right now, just like the brother said, um, it kind of backfired on 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 on, on, on that's how Esau gets. Esau gets down, you know, he, 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 he tests the waters to see if there's going to be any errors, then he backs off, then he comes back again, then he backs off, then he comes back again. You know, we didn't think that he was going to let up um, as soon as he did, but um, we know that this, this, this martial law has to happen. It has to be, 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 be um, put into place so... Esau can uh, roll out his uh, his uh, red carpet for the new world order, mm -hmm. um, and um, this has to happen because, for one, that they, they without doing that, they can't implement their ultimate goal, and that's that, and that is to 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 chip everybody. You know, you don't you don't hear too much about this chip. Um, about uh, about the world, you don't hear too much about them saying that they want to chip everybody. Um, yeah, you, you hear you hear, room, you hear rumors about the chip here, chip there, chip there, but you don't really hear them saying that they want to chip everybody too too much because that's the ultimate plan, and and, and, and they don't really want to they don't they don't want to re 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 reveal that. Um, but you know we know it's gonna happen, and this is but but before that happens. This is gonna happen, the brother. If you continue read, 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 read it on, Bob Kasha. Yeah, it says, while the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, and the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of windows be darkened. Time because uh, there's gonna come a time, and uh, we, we 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 thought that it was gonna be that it was already in to it was already in the making. Well, we we thought that um, it was it was it was it was happening as we speak. But now he's but now Donald Trump is talking about uplifting the um, like you know just opening up America again, basically, basically and, and allowing people to work again. This is this is gonna eventually. This prophecy is eventually gonna come. Is it eventually gonna come to pass? 
but um, I, I guess right now it's just a preview. Um, this is talking about how people are not going to be able to. Give me a minute. Hey. Lucky, y'all. I'm at work right now, so um, yeah. Back to what I was saying. The storehouses will be, the storehouses will be darkened, and um, you 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 are at verse three right now, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The storehouses will be darkened, meaning um, there's not gonna be like when you look into these stores. A lot of these stores are gonna be empty you're not going to see um a lot of these uh these stores in business any 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 any, any anymore and um a lot of people are going to be uh mourning because there's no jobs and um that's why it says in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few okay the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the window be darkened okay um continuing on at verse four and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the, the daughters of music shall be brought low, meaning the mirth, the, 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 the mirth or that laughing or that, that, you know, joking and and all the memes, whatever. Like, it's, it, a lot of people are going to be in a, a very distressed state of mind. And um, because Esau is, 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 is going to, this is just the, the result of Esau shutting down America. Now we, we we know it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when, and it will happen. Mm -hmm. It's a prophecy. And Trump, he say one thing and say the other. He's different day to day. Now this, you know, in the spirit, we believe this 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 is the shutdown, and this is what uh will will usher in the excuse to bring in that microchip because he caught the people off guard. Everybody's in fear. He got the whole world at a grip. You know, he, he has to come up with something uh, more monumental after this coronavirus to get the whole world in this state again. So he might as well just go ahead and take the easy way out as the nation Edom always done and go ahead with this opportunity. And uh -huh. two, uh, I got a precept. This is Ezekiel uh, 35 because Esau Edom, that nation, they got an itch. And what they got an itch is to use that sword because they uh they love to slay, they love to use blood, they love to see blood, so like you. So, you know, these elites, they wicked, man. They uh, you know, they got in the, they bunkers, they got all the, the screens, and they watching people freak out. They also wanna, you know, why do they got body cams on these officers officers now? That's all to watch bloodshed, pop, 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 pop. Like this is a like this is a game. You know, this is a game to them. But this is uh Ezekiel chapter 35 verse uh two son of man set thy set thy face against mount seir and prophesy against it and you know nation edom they dwelt in mount seir it says but say and say unto it thus saith the lord yahweh behold O mount seir i am against thee and i will stretch out my my hand against thee and i will make thee most desolate and that's why you, that's what you've seen the lord doing with these locusts with these plagues 
you know, with, with ordaining Esau to uh, go ahead with his propaganda to destroy himself because Esau is not that smart. You know, he's a foolish man. He's just, uh, the Lord got spirit on him, make him do uh, uh, extreme measures. It says, and I will lay thy cities waste and thou should be desolate and thou should know that I am the Lord because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. Now, what's the time of our calamity? Jacob's trouble. It says, in the time that their iniquity had an end, meaning uh, it say in uh, Second Edges chapter six that the uh, you know the punishment of Zion is fulfilled. So our iniquity, our punishment is just about complete. You know, we served our you know number of years in captivity, so to speak, and the Lord is about to reverse that. It says, this is the point. It says, verse six. Therefore, as I live, and the Lord liveth. Said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So yeah, I remember this devil don't hate blood. He's ready to spew it. He got an itch to. That's why he's moving these troops. That's why he got army fatigue. That's why he set up these, these killer toys. Who only a madman would come up with a microwave gun, a laser gun, a device to torture and kill uh uh the human populace because esau he knows he's just but a mortal fickle man yeah and, so, uh, and and all and, and, and that's the point too because you know in the scriptures it says that um the ye are gods and esau is afraid that's that's another thing he's afraid of he's afraid of jake jacob get, getting his blessing because you know at that time um, that is the time. That is the very same time that that that, that the Israelites will become gods. And um, you know, as the scriptures say, you know, um, Yahweh said, "Look, don't you don't you know that it is written in the law that ye are gods?" Um, and he he he, he, he saw doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want to let go of this rulership that he has. He thinks he's gonna prolong it by the way of this chip that is uh, uh this also known as the mark of the beast written in revelation chapter 13. Mm -hmm. uh, this back in ecclesiastes 12 and 5 and when they shall be afraid of that which is high and fears shall be in the way and the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and desire shall fail because man goeth to his long horn and the mourners go about the streets. Or mm -hmm. ever the, the silver cord be loose or the golden bowl be broken or the pitcher be broken at the fountain or the wheel broken at the cistern, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. Yeah, so, so, you know, so I don't know if you wanna expound on that brother. So yeah, it's the Lord basically saying all these plays, you know, all men just gonna return back to dust. And Lord willing, during the salvation, you know, uh, a certain sect, one third of the nation of Israel and the elect, uh, their body is gonna be beamed up, but their flesh is still gonna be uh, left here. It ain't gonna come up in the in the chariots of the Lord, cause those is those is heavenly and uh, interdimensional. Uh, holy realms so to speak that's that's intermingling with our world and that's you know what esau and, and, and his lineage and all these heathens on this earth and the rest of the two-thirds of israel that's left on this earth after all this destruction you know after esau pushed the button on himself or or these other nations push the button on esau however uh america goes out they they gonna um uh, man they all gonna die you know eventually you know, some will serve slavery, and then others will have to uh, gather treasures for Israel, and then they life gonna be cut short. But the mortals is coming back on this planet Earth. So, you know, Esau, going back to Ecclesiastes twelve, Esau is setting the stage for civil unrest. Is you have to be any logical person can see that any all your messages right now that people talking to you, all the calls you getting, all the looks you getting, the feeling in the air is all 
fear. It's fear of what? Of uh, of uh, starving. Fear of of somebody coming to, to rob you because there ain't no order, no law no more. It's it's all it's the fears of people, you know. And he's wow. like, he can't, you know, he he can't control everybody. So what what are you gonna do? He try and uh, you know, dispatch a certain sex, you know, try to organize things and this and this and that. But eventually he's going to uh, come down with violence on the people, which he's going to do anyway. And that yeah. that's going to instill fear, you know. And then, you know, Lord, however the Lord have it, it might be pandemonium, you know. And, and also, and, 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 that's, and that's something that not everybody is going to be um, destroyed by the uh, by the by the by the by the, 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 the message. There are going to be people that get saved by the way of the bunkers and uh, by the way of the uh, the uh, the angels um, of, of 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 the Lord, which you know in this case is the elect grabbing them out of the bunkers and throwing them back in, into slavery, pursuing to Isaiah the fourteenth chapter. Um, this is uh, this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen. You know, getting back into Jacob's trouble. Um, verse fifteen, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse fifteen. It reads, um, slot here, verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw draw nigh, and one people shall stand up. And fight against another, and swords in their hands. So we're talking about uh, during, during the time of martial law, you know. Um, for there shall be sedition amongst men, meaning uh, masses of the people are going to bump up against the the uh, the, uh, the government. Uh, and in uh, con 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 continuing on at verse sixteen. And invading one another, they shall not regard the kings or princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So, not 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 not, not only are people going to be uh, invading um, and rioting out in the streets, but they're going to be breaking into other people's homes, taking their foods, taking their supplies, and just trying to just. I guess it's in that survival the fittest mindset, and they're also gonna um, these uh these uh these um uh, these governors and 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 um and these people in office they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna receive their judgment as, as well because a lot of these uh during those rioting the uh the the, 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 the the people that support that uh that's under the governor they're gonna get attacked and the governor's gonna get attacked in particular places so on and so forth and um a lot of these people who get caught in the crossfire their power is gonna stand in in in, in the in the in, in in their own hands you know the lord's not gonna is not gonna go out there and protect them the, 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 I mean, it's lucky that the Lord is not going uh, to, it's not going to protect them. So they're going to be out there just naked, basically, you know, um, um, vulnerable to all of these bug outs invading each, 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 each other. What you about to see really is a a lot of it's gonna be just demons out here warring against each other. I mean, the scriptures say, "If Satan be divided against Satan, how shit is kingdom stand?" So that goes to show you these demons they don't have no regard for each other, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that's on a low level and high level. <laughs> so you know, it, we'll see Esau but, versus Esau. <laughs> going to see wicked Israelites versus wicked Israelites, wicked Hamites versus wicked Hamites, you know. Even though it's gonna be uh, race wars, you still gonna have division among even the races, so-called races, you know, and the nationalities of people. So it's, it's gonna be every man, like the brother said, every man for himself, a bar, a, a 
barbaric state, you know. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna be no bargaining for nothing. It is gonna take, you know, the, the a thief yes. coming what to steal, kill, and destroy, you know. So it's gonna turn into yeah. That's wow. that's 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 what you know, looting it, the stores, they you know, but they they Trump want to reopen America because by the time a week pass, you're going to have stores that's been looted, windows broken, you know, infrastructure damage, st uh, shells cleaned off, people, people that don't want to work no more because of the, the chaos that ensued during this lockdown period. So he, they're, you know, they're anticipating this. They're, that's why they got the troops everywhere. They're anticipating, because if you, re how you going to reopen the business that's destroyed? You can't. So the foundations is still kind of here right now, you know, you know, things still cordial. But once the foundations trickle out and, and, and feeble out, which is the foundation of the uh, the rules and laws of the society, it's gonna be a wrap, man. You know, people people gonna lose it once they see that you can break the law, offend it. You know, these so-called uh, laws we live in right now. Once they see you can offend it, you know, uh, rob store, get away with it, commit murder, get away with it. Or, 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 you know, anything else. They, people are going to go buck wild, man. So it's definitely a high time to wake out of sleep, as Christians say. Open your eyes and be prepared in the spirit and get right with the Lord and repent. And uh, let him be your shield and your, you know, your buckler, your defense, man. Because that's what you're going to need out here. It says, uh, Scripture say it's going to be trouble at, on every side, you know. So... Um, with that, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, Shalom, and I hope he was edified. Uh, the brother got the uh, closing statements. I was gonna uh, end the lesson because you know we're on the time limit too. So, Con -con. closing statements. And bear with me one, one more second. I, uh, I got the verse, the 17th verse right here. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because of the pride of the city because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid a man verse 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall desire their but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay, so, you know, we keep on reading, but that was pretty much self-explanatory. Self you know, um, people are not gonna be able to cross the borders, the borders are gonna be shut down, and uh, people are just gonna be uh, left with no way out. Um, and, I mean, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. You know, people are gonna be attacking up each other's houses, invading other, other neighbors' houses, and um, just uh, and, uh, a, a brute beast spirit, you know, uh, uh, attacking each other for the resources. And when you attack each other, that's invading each other's privacy. That's why the Lord said he would lift up the skirt on Esau, because these other nations going to attack. You know, and then all the way down to our level, we're going to have people attack each other in their homes. That's like, that's like seeing the person's nakedness right there. So the Lord is going to fulfill his word, man. So I don't have anything else. I, you, you good? Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, so with that, we're going to close up. Hello, we like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors again to our apostles of Great Millstone. True elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, pushing this truth and sincerity. And to you, women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is near. Shalom. Shalom. Wait a minute. Nah.